Welcome to another conversation with the Chief. Today we're going to be taking a look at recruiting within the Hampton Police Division. We're going to go down into the bowels of the police headquarters and talk with the recruiters that actually hire police officers. We're going to talk about what it takes, what the processes are to become the next police officer at the Hampton Police Division. Hey boss. How are y'all? Good to see you. You doing okay? Friday. Hey, Nothing's with you. Good to see you. How are you? Corporal, you doing okay? Yeah. My name is Sergeant Olson. I am the personnel recruiting coordinator for the Hampton Police Division's personnel recruiting office. Come on in. Let me show you around a little bit. This is our, uh, this is where we make it happen. This is where we do all the hires. Uh, as you can see, I've got a, a young lady behind us that's working really hard today. Her name is uh, Miss Shauna Smith. A lot of you, when you guys call in and I uh, have some questions about uh, employment here in the Hampton Police Division. She's going to pick up that phone. She's going to give you all the information you need. So right now we've got about five individuals that work here in the office. I'm the coordinator. Shauna Smith is the administrative assistant. I have two background investigators. I've got MPO Ray Feliciano. And then right down here, I've got a retired police detective, Miss Benita Powers. And again, she's not here, so she must be out doing some work too for me. Uh, this is Corporal Vega's office, and she's the one that you're gonna see at all the events throughout the city and throughout the area, and some even out of state, where she's gonna try to get you to come in here and go ahead and become a police officer for the Hampton Police Division. And I'll come in here, I'll show you my little office as well. And this is where I'm at. This is where I spend most of my day. My responsibility is to just make sure that this office flows smoothly. If you're wanting to become a police officer, what would be the first thing they need to do to, to apply here? Well, the first thing they need to do is probably visit the City of Hampton's webpage. And you can go into the webpage and you can look at the job opportunities that are available there to include police officer, auxiliary police officer, cadet. Uh, we also have some uh, non-sworn positions such as uh, 911 dispatchers. We need a lot of assistance when it comes to office specialist positions within the building as well. So we're not only looking for police officers, we're also looking for non-sworn personnel to help us out. What would be the next step after they, they put in an application online? Uh, what do we do at that point from behind the scenes? Uh, from behind the scenes, we go through their background questionnaire. We'll look for any red flags such as any drug use within 12 months, that will be marijuana, or any hard drug use in the lifetime. We also look for their driving history. We believe if they are not a responsible driver before they apply for the position, we can now make them responsible drivers once we put them behind the wheel. Um, we also go through some of the references. We will invite them to come in for testing. When they come in for testing, we give them an information assembly. So what we do in the information assembly we ask him about um, what they think police job is all about. We tell him what we expect, what the process is like, and um, we give him the written test. So Sarge, we're out here at the uh, new Academy and Recruiting Center. Uh, it's really a nice, nice area. You know, we got a lot of space, a lot of parking, a lot of training facility in here. Uh, I know you guys are excited. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, I tell you what, this, this facility is just monstrous. I mean, it's just a, a huge building, and uh, we're really excited about being, a, I guess, moving in here in April. And uh, we've got an academy class that's already started, so it'll be our next academy class during the summertime that will actually be here at the facility. But uh, we've got, we're going to have many, many classrooms. We're going to have opportunities for the community to come in and actually be a part of the facility as well. I know we make special accommodations for those that, those that apply from out of town. Um, can you talk about that? Things like how we schedule things if you're traveling in? Absolutely. So I keep track of all the scheduling. They, I send the first email for the information assembly. When they come in, we identify everything, everyone who is from out of state. And what we do, the next step will be whoever is from out of state, we'll give them a day to come for the oral board. But we ask them to separate that date and give us about three days instead of just one day. And what we do, I'll come in here, I'll speak to the background investigators, and we'll set up an, a schedule in which when they come in, they'll do the or board, the background interview, polygraph, and if available, psychological examination. So we pretty much try to take care of everything in one visit. Correct. I think that's that, that really helps us. And I know we have some success in recruiting out of state as well. I know that we 
we do a lot of recruiting and go to a lot of recruiting events. About how many a year do we go through? Do you remember? Average. I know you're going all the time, so. Yes. So um, our goals and objectives require us to do about 25, but we are trying to do as much as possible, and we are doing anywhere between 30 and 40 a year. There's going to be a lot of interaction with us. Um, they're going to have the opportunity to sit down and really just discuss their past with us and also what the future holds here as an employee with the HPD, um, the police division. Um, it's going to be a very quick process. We want to get uh, our personnel hired up and ready for the academy sooner than later. That's something that we sort of pride ourselves on is that we can get through a applicant faster than any other jurisdiction in the area. So now they've gone online, they've put in an application. We set up an assembly. They come in for the assembly and they get all the information on what the process and what to expect. We're kind of giving them the personal touch, keeping them informed of where they're they are and we've got a good communication with them so if they have something that comes up we'll work with them on it but uh, and, and when we talked about the out-of-state stuff then we do a background check we do the psychological we do polygraph we do a medical what else do we do well on that second appointment we do um, all the attitude covered if they can now do the medical on the same day we'll give them, a, give them another day to come back when they come back for this third and last appointment, they'll do the medical and then the chief's interview. Okay, so we try to, to make it as quick as possible. Yes. Yeah, and what about if, okay, they come to me and we interview and you guys do a great job, so that's really kind of a soft interview. I mean, I already know a whole lot about them because of the background checks and that sort of thing. But I get a personal sense of who they are. And we're looking for a reasonable person. We're looking for someone who uh, can be a professional and put their personal feelings aside and be objective when dealing with our public, but also have an interest in working with people uh, because we are problem solvers for those folks. But, uh, uh, you know, what is the basic timeline? How fast can we get somebody through this on average? It will all depend on the applicant's uh, ability to make all the appointments. If it's up to us, we can process anyone between 30 and 90 days. Have them in the door, working, earning benefits, and just getting to know the people they're gonna be working with. And once they meet with me, how fast can we put them on, on the job? I know we run uh, two academies a year, and we're trying to work up to three. Do we have to wait until the academy starts, or? Not at all. We have the ability to hire people prior to the academy. And once they leave, your office and you have given us the blessing to hire them, every other Monday we have an, a city orientation that allows us to bring people basically every other Monday to our division. So as soon as the applicant completes the selection process, uh, you give the okay, they can come in as soon as possible, as soon as they're able to. So we're looking at as little as a one week and as, yes. as long as two weeks before we can put them on board. And we would want them to give appropriate notice to their current employer anyway, would we not? Correct. We actually asked them to please give two week notice before they leave. Again, we're extremely flexible here. We've got a really good partnership with all of these services that we provide during the hiring process. We've got the psychological people lined up. We've got the polygraph people lined up. We've got medical. They are very flexible and they work with us uh, daily. And if we feel very passionate about somebody and we want that individual to be an HPD officer, uh, we're going to make it happen and the way we do that is uh, we give them uh, uh, many opportunities and many dates and things that uh, that they can use to get away from their current employment or their family or whatever the case may be to make those appointments. Well we're inside the building now and of course there's a lot of construction that's fixing to take place and go on. You guys have really given a great overview today of, of the recruiting process We've gotten a, a glimpse of the new academy. Hopefully in April or May we'll be able to come out, talk with you once again and walk through the new offices and let everyone take a glimpse into, into the rest of your world. Absolutely, we'll be really looking forward to do that. Well, thank you very much for a, yes, a great conversation with yes, the sir. chief and I'm really excited about the new people that you're bringing on board. Thank you very much. Thank you.